Hi, I'm Scott. <laughs> and I'm Oscar. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. Well, the gin we're trying today is Sacred Pink Grapefruit Gin. There you go, it's right there. The Sacred Distillery is based in Highgate, which is very close to where we live. Up the road. We do love our local distilleries, don't we? We, do, we actually do love we to do, support we local do. distilleries. Sacred Spirits was founded in 2008 when Ian Hart wanted to bring a positive connection to London's gin production with small batch gin distillation. Well done. <laughs> What's unusual about this gin is that they use Spanish and Italian pink grapefruit, not just the peel, but the pulp and even the pips. And it's made by vacuum distillation. And we've even seen those stills. We have indeed. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle of an ABV of 43.8% and costs around 35 pounds. Today I'll be making a gin and tonic and garnishing with some grapefruit and a little bit of rosemary from my garden. Oh. So it'd be very so local. We've got some. So a local gin, yeah, I've just got to go and pick it when we do the montage bit. Um, so this is literally, if we go straight out of our house and then turn left, we go carry on going down and then up a hill, it's there. You know what you forgot to say? So we'll be trying it neat first. We'll be well, everyone knows we'll be trying it neat first. Yeah, but you used to say that. Yeah, everyone knows. People like familiarity. Uh, it breeds contempt, apparently. Well, apparently so. Bross said that back in 1987. <laughs> I don't even think they're talking anymore, are they? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Who Literally. saw that documentary? I, it, oh, I, I thought it was a spoof. Five years ago, Grandad. I thought it was a spoof. It was, it was amazing. Right, let's give it a smell. Oh! Oh, that's really fresh. Fresh. Wow. That is grapefruit. It gets you. It actually, it's making my, it's making my mouth go, oh, like that. Okay. You are getting everything of the of the grapefruit. You're getting the peel, the pulp, the pith. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. It is grapefruity, but it's sweet. Because of the because it, it's pink grapefruit, they're sweeter, aren't they? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I was just the aroma. Oh yeah. <laughs> See the aroma, 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 aroma. He's copyright. It's a bit. Right? Uh, it's a bit mentally for me. Are you not getting that? It's well... No, I'll tell you what it is. It's because obviously the, all the kind of volatile kind of chemicals that's in there, um, and they do vapor distillation, that is packing a punch. That is like full intense. Oh. It's, it's like it's like essential oils almost. Yes. It's like, it's, oh, it's full on. It's enough that, um, like I, it, I'm feeling it back here, right? The the, it's going like beyond my smellnessness. But you know, like when you sniff um, a mustard, like an English yeah. one, you get oh, and you can feel it up here. But, this is where think, it's going. I think that's why in that distillation oh, process, yeah. um, a lot of their flavours are really really intensified. And you can see we've we've pretty much got. I think we've got their entire range. Um, we're not shy about buying these ones because they are local to us and, and we like to support local. Um, and we've been, they've got a shop as well, so it's where their distillery is. And there's another shop in, um, in East London as well. Um, but yeah, we go, we go to the local shop and we, we peruse the shelves. And peruse, look. like yeah. that. If you're up Hamps, uh, Highgate, worth, it's worth popping in. Yeah, it's, it's worth, worth popping, popping in. They've got a lot of other people's drinks as well. It's not just their own. Mm. Right, let's get it in tonic. I want to open this up. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Why not indeed? Cheers, Let's Oscar. do this. Okay, you're gonna say good. you're gonna say I've already cheated. He's, or... He already cheated because we're doing fruity feb, so he uh, he cheated and tasted it before. And I was shocked how amazingly creamy and lovely this was. Like, really, it's beautiful. Well, that is nice. It is beautiful. See, you haven't tried it. I tried it. Ooh, that's so creamy. You're right about creaminess to it. Um. It's smooth, it's creamy, it is grapefruit. And it, I'll tell you what it is. It is the, it's really hard to explain. It's the bitter side of grapefruit. However, 
It's, it's still only, sweet. Yeah, it's still sweet. So the it's literally like going into a grapefruit. I'm get I'm getting so I'm getting the different flavours of uh, like the skin, like the zest, and then the pith, and then I'm getting the sweetness coming yeah. through of the pulp. Yep. So it's like I'm going through a journey of the grapefruit. Oh, they love that when you say journey. Oh, it was it's, it's a journey of a grapefruit. <laughs> this this gin is the journey of a grapefruit. What a sad life we lead. Yeah. Journey it's, of it's a grapefruit. It's really good. <laughs> some, from ground to shopping, uh, supermarket. When he cheated um, and tried it before we went on camera doing this, um, he was like, I'm really surprised. I'm, I was genuinely shocked, genuinely shocked because neat, it was fine, but you know, it was, it, it was good. However, with tonic, opening it up. Mm, that's nice. And we, we, we like our vacuum distillation. Mm. We really do like that. It seems to it really give good flavors. It's exactly what it should be. This, this goes back to a pink grapefruit gin there's enough gininess in it and enough pink grapefruit. It's still gin. It is still gin. Mm. Um, it's quite, it's it's one of those ones again where where it's dry as well. It's a dry, it's a dry gin that then is make, it makes my mouth feel dry, but then it makes my mouth water. Yes, I, uh, I'm, I'm watering, watering right up now. now. <laughs> I am literally water, literally watering up. Um, I'm really impressed with this. So impressed. Ooh. So our camera optive said about the rosemary, so oh, I'm, I might not have put the rosemary in, but I think the rosemary works because it just gives it a little bit of a kind of like warm, kind of like herbal element to it. Um, if you just put grapefruit in a grapefruit gin, it's just a bit like, oh, ah. like, well, it's the ah. same thing. It's, ah. a, it's the same flavour. So no, He's I, I, a pop think, at you. I think that, that's, that's really good. <laughs> what? Oh, was that one minute? <laughs> just it's, one, it's one me, minute. Give me hand signals. I think it's nice to hear the, um, uh, to hear. To hear the ice clinking. To hear, to smell the rosemary as you bring the glass up. It is one mm. of your senses after all. And as much as we're not here to sniff gin, right? It is nice, the whole journey of, oh. uh, The whole journey, oh. <laughs> the whole journey is good. It's, it is a journey, you know, it is. Mm. I'm sorry, this is lovely. This, let's score this. Before we give the game away too wow. much. No, I'm I'm really I'm really impressed. Yeah, so I'm am really, I. really impressed by it. We've got a lot to open. They do a pre-mix and a groaning. We're gonna we're gonna bring you that. I don't think we've been disappointed with um Sacred. We haven't. Have we? No, no, we haven't at all. And we have been to their distillery and tried some of their gins. Yeah. Because you can. You can go and do that and, and try. Some. Yeah. yeah. Right, go. Go. Yeah, I really like this. This is this is I really a, like this. This wow, is it's got an eleven from yeah, me. Outstanding, outstanding. The shock. If you see our little video, if you go back in time and what, wherever you're going to put it, you'll see the genuine shock on my face and me going, "Wow, not what I expected." It'll be on the eighth of February. Check it out. Eighth of February. There you go. Eight, okay, because eight days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake, because <laughs> I said the words. Anywho. I pay no attention anywho, to me. Anywho, lovely gin. Well done, Sacred. We've got quite a few of yours to get through yet. Um, do your bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. See, this is what I mean about different colours. That's yeah. what I like. I like that. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.